It's salty. Someone's well, going to be in the imagine, lead. Imagine getting knocked out of the tournament because you got your stars swapped on turn f 9 out of 10. Okay, so imagine like that or like like you just you barely get that last star. You're in third place, but then you get all the bonus stars and then you just win. Like how bad of a win is that? Like we you take those, right? We definitely take, we those. take those. You take those right into the next round. But right now, we have Spargo. Can I get some cloud hype? And, we of course, Larry Larry. We talked about this earlier. We're definitely bringing the cloud hype versus the wolf. Spargo versus Larry Lur. Yeah, let's see. Now, I love Spargo's approach when it comes to uh, to cloud. Dude, I've been, like, I, I watched some Spargo sets. I've been playing this character so much. He makes the character look so entertaining to play. Yeah, he's definitely, like, breaking the barriers with this character. Like, a lot of players... They kind, of, they kind of wrote Cloud off in the beginning a little bit. Yeah. People were saying, oh, his Nair is smaller now. He loses limit after some time. But, like, Spargo came out saying, I don't, I don't care about that. I'll use my limit when I get it. Like, I'll just throw out my amazing hitboxes with forward air, back air, even the down air. Yeah, Spargo really started abusing um, up B. This is, like, yeah. one of the first players that started to really do that. Because up B comes out, I think it's actually Cloud's. Fastest it's out of shield option. It's insanely fast. And it's really long, so for it some, catches. For some reason, like, if they learn on a platform, you get another Ooh. one sometimes. Down smash, going to do it. Yeah, scoop them up. Just like in that, that exact scenario that we were talking about, you know, that up B out of shield is going to be what Spargo's going to be going for. Stalling in the air to avoid the death tilt with a cross slash. Very smart. Yeah, and up air punish, not a whole lot, but the back air, great spacing right there. Avoids the down air and gets that stock. Even game right here. Mm -hmm. and the, just the, what I really want you to pay attention to is like the micro spacing between these two characters, these two players especially, because one hit from Wolf will easily convert, whereas Spargo is going to have to get several just to rack up the same amount of damage. Yeah, but the thing is, his hits are still doing quite a bit of damage. Near into the upper, that's going to be huge, and also. Yo, know, he is able to be a little more lenient with his spacing. You know, his moves are kind of more safe on shield. They're, you know, just longer in general. Okay, quick up tilt comes out from oh. Larry, but a cross slash, not going to kill. Don't whiff for grabbing my face, he says. Man, those back here, it's very difficult to deal with sometimes. Down smash. Oh, the big forward just, air come out. They're from throwing haymakers at each other right now. Both of these just want to take away the stock. Spargo going to do it with a perfectly timed F tilt. Cloud only has haymakers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> does Wolf not? <laughs> oh, there's that F tilt. Yep. And an even game once again. These two pushing each other to their limits here on game number one. Yeah, when it comes to like the ledge pressure, I'm definitely expecting a lot of F tilts. Good couple up airs into up tilt and an up B out of shield to boot. Like, it does a good n amount of percent, too, like, whenever oh, it, it hits. Like it, it does. I think it does more damage than it should, but at the same time, I think Cloud needs it, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Cloud's not complaining. Cool. Cloud's cool. <laughs> yeah. Fair into the neutral. It looks for the dash check, but immediately just an up air as well, just all over Spargo, not letting him land. Yeah, and Spargo's really putting his back to Larry because he's trying to. Oh, is that going to be break shield? Oh, the Skittles. Close. Very close. I'm surprised I didn't shield poke, but. This stuff from Larry, keeping the, la the shield in the same position. But when Sparkle's approaching Larry, he always has his back to turn to him because he's putting him into the mix of if he's going to be throwing out a back air or if he's going to, in fact, use a, a nair and try and cross up. Yeah, and he also has access to the cross slash, which has a huge first hitbox, mm -hmm. and it can, you know, obviously instantly turn him around. All right, the nair just going to poke Larry off stage. The air dodge in gets caught up by a back air. And now Limit is charging. We see the neutral B. You know, he's just hanging on to Limit. Cross last going to whip. Larry forced to use the directional air dodge as he did try to approach it. Okay, back throw. Not going to take the sock. Fargo. All right. Can he get the F to here? No. Oh, but the up air, it will kill the... The pogo stick down here onto the platform, it doesn't get Larry, and Larry able to get a punish with a stock on. One thing I hope Spargo learns in this set is that, especially at these like higher percents, when Spargo is at a higher percent, these falling nares on the wolf are not a good idea. Yeah. As soon as that nair, or as soon as the down air touches wolf's shield, he's already buffering up smash. Yeah. And it's going to catch, and it's going to kill. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Spargo has to be careful of what he's going to do. You know, obviously... 
Uh, Wolf uh, considered a very, very strong character. Cloud, you know, kind of a sleeper, very strong character. Not a lot of people are putting him up there. I still think he's really good, but... Uh, See, that's I the thing. There's, there's a lot of people who are like, he's really good. And then there's like two people getting results. <laughs> yeah, but one of them is on our screen right now. That's true. Okay. And Spargo able to escape the ledge. Now, up tilt is going to be a very good tool here. Oh, okay. And so is the, the up B. Uh, both are amazing anti airs. As you can see, Larry loves to approach with in the air. Oh, oh my good God. tech chase. Yeah, he was so ready for that uh, roll in with the cross slash. Okay, we're going to see a down throw into an Etzel, and that's going to put Spargo in a tough position. Etzel, he's gone. There's no way he's coming back from that. No jump at all. Yeah, unfortunately, not being able to snap the ledge makes you uh, susceptible to those Etzels, especially because they come out so fast. Larry is just waiting to push forward on the C-stick. Yeah, well, good back air pressure coming from Spargo. Down throw, dash attack, but more down smashes at the ledge. Right. Down smash out of shield, that will be enough to take away the stock. Spargo keeping it pretty even right now. Limit is online here. Instantly throws it out. Combos it into a back air? Yeah, just adding on that little bit more damage. Taking it where you can get it in the jump option into cross slash that's an option that a lot of players don't expect for cross slash to yeah. be coming out in the air especially when it's not limit yeah you know the move is still very very good like i was saying earlier it has a huge hitbox in front of uh cloud it can anti-air like while he's on the ground okay limit's back online pulling have... the trigger just a little bit too soon on that blade beam yeah i really like the blade beam just because it's bigger it hangs under the ledge a little bit uh -huh. he was trying to frame the up but he pulled it just a little bit too early okay air dodging right past that up air up smash spargo taking the lead here oh a little bit too early on that up but a cross slash for 23 damage yeah why not why, why not why not <laughs> And that's actually, now that I think about it, we haven't really been seeing Larry use soft hit and air to his advantage like we could have. Like, it's not coming out as often as I expected it to. I think he's just respecting the large hitboxes that are disjointed of clouds. You know, the giant sword, the backers, the forward airs. It's really hard to go for such a telegraphed aerial like that. You know, he has to start them there early and then drift in time to get the late hit. That's true, but I also feel like his game plan is to just push Spargo off stage. Put him in that recovery situation and then abuse the F tilt like we've been seeing him do. Yeah, definitely going to be the game plan here for Larry. Down throw, going to be a dash attack afterwards. Another one. He forces him off stage. Gets oh, the jump. No, no jump. No jump. And, and there's a down smash. Larry Lura taking it 2-0. Man, I hate to see my boy Sparkle go out like that, but that was that an was amazing a, way to end the set. great stock there from Larry. You know, Sparkle had such a lead. Larry got one opening and made it count. Double.